Well, today marked the 19th year for the Flying Pig Marathon, and it is, it is one of the biggest events in the tri-state. Local 12's Megan Moore was there as the winners crossed what this event calls the Finnish Swine. It's a weekend when thousands of people fled the Queen City to take part in the Flying Pig Marathon event. And today for the half and full marathons, I don't think we could have asked for a better day. Eighteen thousand four hundred and sixty five participants ran in today's event, including one who ran the half on all fours. She's run about 251 races, about 30 fulls, 70 halves, and then just groupings of the other ones. Not to mention just yesterday, she ran the 5K and 10K. Andrew Maddock is a physician from Rochester, Michigan. He and his running partner, Ginger, a therapy dog, sure turned heads. This is the first time she's got this much attention, so. But she loves it. It's good for her. It shows you what dogs can really do. Wondering who's faster? She does nine minute miles. It takes me all year to get to that speed. It's fun to do the local race and, and do well at it. And win. The first to cross the finish swine on two legs for the men's half marathon was Olympic trials marathoner Tommy Kaufman of Cincinnati. It's the first time he's run the Flying Pigs half. I started the full twice and not finished twice. so. It's good to cross the finish line. Crossing that finish swine first for the women's half marathon, University of Cincinnati's women's cross country coach, Laura Crawford. All my runners from UC are out on the course, and to be honest, they're the ones who kind of inspired me to uh, get back into running and get back into training. Another UC connection, the winner of the men's full marathon, was recent UC graduate Jack Randall. Ah, that's great. It's surreal. Never thought this would happen. This was Jack's first time running the pig. Not the case for the winner of the women's full marathon. Here comes our top female finisher. It is Karen Lee. Congratulations. A big moment for Anderson High School's cross country coach, Carrie Lee, who never quit fighting for that first place finish. Good job, coach. Nice job, coach. You got it. Coming in either second or third every year since 2011, this was her time to shine. Lucky number seven, so this is my seventh time trying. Bob Coughlin, the founder of the Flying Pig, got to see firsthand all the people pulling for her. And I biked it today just in front of Carrie, you know, who won. And as I whipped the crowd up saying, here comes the female lead, they're all going, is it Carrie? Is it Carrie? And it was exciting. I think I just wanted to, you know, show my team that you have a goal and you just keep going after it. You try as hard as you can. And this was my day today. At the Flying Pig Marathon, Megan Moore, Local 12 News. And just to give you an idea how big the flying pig has gotten this year, participants came from all 50 states and 20 countries. It is a big event, and a lot of fun as well.